Alright guys, today we'll be drive number one on the new motor. So I'm gonna do this reel. I haven't started it. I can touch right here. You know, motor's totally cold. There's no choke on this uh, carburetor. So we'll see how quickly it starts. Uh, my buddy and I did put a new fuel pump on it just because while I was trying to start it a couple days ago, it just took forever to actually get, get some uh, fire. I think the fuel pump was the fuel pump was leaking. And I think it was kind of gone on its way out. So we, you know, 20 bucks new fuel pump should work a lot better. So let's see what it'll do. All right, so we're gonna give it some gas and see if it will go. I'm gonna try to do this from outside the car. All right, started right up. I'm going to check for uh, fuel leaks. Don't want to be leaking fuel. I think we're okay. Alright, so hopefully we have brakes and we have transmission. So let's see what happens. We're going backwards. I'll tell you what, the power steering on this car is excellent. Alright, we have backwards. The brakes are kind of spongy, but they probably need bled. I haven't had a shift yet. But that's okay. It's a 350, so. It shifted! Did you hear it? Pretty sure that was a shift. stock settings. transmission that I put in. It's for a Corvette, but guess what? It's going to work anyway. There's, the cruise control box is gone on this car, so it used to have a two-piece cable that went through that. I decided that i just going to put the other cable in and be good. Um, what else did I fix? Uh, the doors are all, the door uh, locks work now. The windows are all lubed up, and the interior is all cleaned, and as you um, might have seen, there's new carpet in the car, so the interior is all done. Uh, this car definitely needs some brakes. Even though I did them and I bled them, they still need brakes, so... What a lovely transmission. It's so nice when they actually, uh... When they actually shift. All I know is now I have 500 miles of break-in time to put on this motor. I'm watching my temp gauge. Um... That's definitely important. What's good for a car when you have a brand new motor in it is you want to make sure you do a lot of stop and go. You don't want to do a lot of highway driving where your motor's at the same RPM over and over. You want to kind of vary it so you get everything worked in real nice. Take it back to the house now. I'm gonna check the transmission fluid level one more time, just in case. 
If you guys haven't seen my Cadillac video, um, I drove that around yesterday or on Saturday with one of my buddies. So it still makes that transmission line, but um, we'll see what we can do to fix it. It actually made it less than it did the time before. So hopefully we can get that figured out. Now this motor is not really a crazy horsepower motor, but it's a lot better than what it did have. I think the fastest I've gotten on this drive so far has been 40. Um, I have, I think I have enough faith in the car to take it out on a real road. But first, let's check the transmission fluid since the engine is warm. I wish this is how the Cadillac went. Everything shifted fine. Just needed a little bit of tuning. Well, that's what you get when you get a an old car like that. It's a Stone Age car, pretty much. These Camaros, they make everything for them already. So it's really easy to get parts. And you know, half people know what they're doing when they work on them. This one, on the other hand, or the Cadillac, on the other hand, yeah. Here's an outside view of the car. It's been in the garage so long that I forgot what it looked like from far away. Been up under the engine, in the engine, and under the car for so long. There's the Camaro. 